Dangan What's going on guys? It's me and JT. Why you can call me Nick? And that's right, we are back with we some more Dangan Rapato by Despair. So let's go, let's, let's play. I'm up to the class trial. Which we have to play. The class trial because I've been really enjoying it. It's been awesome. They are really, really fun. Cool. So let's go home. So, exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. No, it was There's no way she got abducted? She had to tie her. Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Yoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that... I won't move! Yes, go! When I came, my big movies Are you saying my gut was wrong? This will be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? No! Th that's not the issue! Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk! I'll shut you up right now! Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got up. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her! But Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hiyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! I remember in Hiyoko's body, her kimono was all messed up! Ah. Crap! Hold on! Try remember in Hiyoko's body, her kimono was all messed up! What? Hold on! Try remember in Hiyoko's body, her kimono was all messed up! There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Allow me to cut through those woods! The reason Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue. And then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes! Off clothes. Do whatever you want to me! Hajime, now's your chance! Make her... Admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Yeah. Then, Hell yes, the killer yes, probably man. couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin! I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under! <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! For his sake! Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course! I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... It was an unfortunate coincidence. Coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, 
She was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened. When the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki, the killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... ...killed Hiyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn, you don't know the most important part. Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs goosebumps stuff like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. What are you talking oh, about? Music. I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember! There was blood on Ibuki's slippers! So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide! You know... We already finished talking about that a while ago. Uh, really? Yeah. That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. I agree, Kazuchi. That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange. Well, what's strange? The point that Nuggets are made. Prove it with this! First try. If Ibuki used the stepladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Oh, I was just looking at the door, guys. Huh? Like there weren't? Yeah, that stepladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Yeah, there's bloodstain there! Do you notice such a small detail? Yeah, How amazing! This Didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing step rabbit? Then, I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video. Mm -hmm. But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but... Oh well, we Why should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. Right, I remember now. Okay. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty. But on one side, there was a bloodstain right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any bloodstains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. The 
the step ladder in the video is completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two step ladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two step ladders? But where would you find another step ladder? There was only And one of the step ladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the step ladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. That's amazing, Chiaki! All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills! Is it okay to say that? location must have been different too. What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. 
But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. Oh, lunch time, let's go! Yeah, my five foot mine, my five foot! I only have one life, so I'm gonna... killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start, and made this easier on all of us. Sorry, don't ask. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. That's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. I see! That's why I remember it was destroyed. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. 
and they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. Whoa. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough! Conference room. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. Room. And the music venue looked the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? He might have tampered with the camera. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. There's 
no way the conference room and the music night. Right? Which place was empty? Did the conference room look like or did the music room look like? That must be it! What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain. But after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-ass, just like Monami. Oh yeah? Well, your face looks stupid, Sucker.